everybody, we're back in Libby, Montana today to work on the bus. We're gonna take out the floors today and tomorrow. So it's a two day event. We're gonna do some car camping and uh, see how far we can get. We're gonna start by taking out all the metal that's holding the floor down, um, which includes the rail that goes over top of the coolant lines. We're gonna loosen up the heaters so that we can move them around um, as we need to move them out of the way. We're gonna get all this rubber off the floor, get all the little metal bits that's holding the floor down, and then we're gonna tear out the plywood. So that's the plan for the next two days. Let's see how far we get. things about these old buses is the floor gets rotten over time because of all the water kids coming in and out especially in the winter time um, in the northern states like Montana and Washington where this bus is from but uh, the floor was so rotten that the bolts and the screws just pulled right right up out of the wood so hopefully that'll make it easy getting the uh, floor out but I think we're gonna have a lot of grinding right now. I'm running out of time every day goes by so fast and every moment counts, baby, I don't want to miss a thing We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Or hang out in hotel bars, driving somewhere in your car We can sleep under the stars, we can sleep under the stars Under the stars
can see with most of this, it's uh, it's basically just glued down. Um, it's nice because if it doesn't come off in a million little pieces, just roll it up. It makes it much, much easier to take to the dump. I may cut up all these little tiny pieces of, uh, of, of scrap metal just to get them out of here. Throw them in a bag like I have with, with, uh, with those. And uh, just take them out to the landfill as well. I just hope my car can fit it all. Getting closer. Uh, to the green dumpsters here. So that's what I'm doing. Got a full load of stuff in the back. Back seat's full, front seat's full, but I got it uh, cut down small enough that I can I can get it in my car. So that's good, get all that stuff out of there. Um, when I get back, I'm gonna cut up all the extra metal pieces so that I can bag those or put those in a box and get them to the recycling center and then go ahead and start getting out the, the floor. It's not gonna be as bad as I thought it was gonna be, I don't think. Um, I hope only a couple of small spots where I have some some deep grinding that I need to do, but the rest of it I, I, I think is just going to be surface rust um, and get ready for the rest oleum. So that's really awesome. So we got a lot done today. It's uh, it's dark. Um, it's about 6:30 ish, and um, yeah, so we got a lot done. We got all the uh, the metal and everything taken off the floor, all the mat up, and then tomorrow. We're gonna go through and, or maybe tonight, depending on how cold it gets in here, we're gonna go through and uh, I'm gonna take up all the plywood, get that all cut down, and uh, get that to the landfill as well. It's been a pretty productive day. I'm looking forward to tomorrow. I'm gonna hand, have me a sandwich and uh, go from there.